I started living a zero waste lifestyle five years ago and it all kind of started when I read Rachel Carson's book, Silent Spring, which is all about the effects of DDT, which is a man-made pesticide on bird populations and human populations. And I learned that humans have the capacity to negatively impact the entire environment for every creature that lives here in a way that nothing else on earth can. When I started looking at my own life and looking at my apartment, I realized that all of my clothing was predominantly made of plastic. It was synthetic fabrics. All of my cleaning products were packaged in plastic. All of my beauty products were packaged in plastic. And most of them had synthetic or petro-based um, ingredients. And so I had been protesting the oil and gas industry for two years at that point, but I was actively supporting them through my purchasing habits on a multi-time per day basis. And so I realized that I had to stop actually using plastic in order to stop being a hypocrite. I realized that there was a disconnect between what I cared about and how I lived my day-to-day -day life. And to me, going zero waste was the way to connect the two and actually live my values. Well, the first thing that I like to kind of dispel about zero waste is that it's not expensive, and in fact, it doesn't have to cost anything at all. Saying no is free. So refusing plastic straws, refusing single-use plastic bags, those are free changes that anyone can make in their everyday life. But for people who want to start making more systematic, larger scale change, the first thing that I suggest is actually looking at the trash that you're making and seeing what you're producing and if you're throwing away anything um, prevalently and then looking at what that is and finding a multi-use alternative to the single-use disposable product. So for instance, a reusable bag instead of a single-use disposable bag, a reusable water bottle instead of a single-use plastic water bottle. Simple changes, low cost, low buy-in, but have a big positive impact. My plans for the future is a really hard question to answer because if you asked me three years ago if I would have a laundry detergent company, I would laugh at you. If you told me six months ago that I would have a store, I'd also laugh at you. My only goal in life is to help to inspire positive environmental change, and so I know anything that I will be doing will align with that goal.